Hello. Stand a bit. Start again. Stand a bit further back. Let's start it again here. Hello, my name is Ross. Today I'm going to talk to you about my pet stick insects in my home. And if you have a look here, I have two tanks. This tank and this tank, and these are stick insect breeding tanks. This is for the baby stick insects, and this one's for the adult stick insects. I also have in my container here all the eggs. And notice I've sealed the lid because it provides a warm environment for all the, the eggs, and then they start to hatch. These eggs I get from the bottom of the, the um, cage. Here is some here are some leaves. These are called privet leaves, which I pick off the bush and I feed my stick insects. So if we grab two of those, and we go to the, one of the tanks, open it carefully. Inside, you can see my stick insects and this leaf, you just place it in there the moisture is enough for the stick insects all the stick insects are, are happily sitting there, I pick one up they're very nice pets um, very carefully there, there's, there's one there, look it's a very nice pet to have see, it's crawling over my hand there and um, that's one of the smaller ones and if you gently put him back i get a bigger one for you and this isn't by all means the biggest size this is a fairly big one they grow twice that size the adults and this one currently is pretending to be asleep see it's got a long slender body and he lays his eggs from holes on the side perforations on the side of his body he um, is neither male nor female, polyandrous, so he can lay eggs without having a male or female, which is a quite unique in the insect kingdom, indeed in the animal kingdom. If we go to the, the uh, larger tank, close that gently, because I'd like to feed them as well. There you go. There's a larger tank, and inside there, we've got lots of, of bigger stick insects. I'm going to put one of the leaves carefully down there. Now here are the enormous ones. Um, as, I, as I get older, they start to become more browner. See his antennae there. His feet, and there's one foot moving, as you can see. See, he's starting to move there. There's no problem with them. They don't bite or anything. And he's happily sitting on my finger. Very, very tame. They got two eyes, the red eyes that glow at night. I put them carefully back in the tank. And you can see they're all they're all happily um there's one sort of molting at the moment. And they're all happily living together, they don't fight, there's no problems with them. What I do every morning is I collect the baby ones. I collect the baby ones. Um, and I put them inside the tank. So let's close this tank now and show you the little containers that I use. So these are little containers that I've saved from takeaways. Okay, and these are very useful if you want to sell someone some of the eggs, stick insect eggs. Okay, you put them in there, and they're useful for posting as well and the Royal Mail allows posting our stick insects. He has another container and look I've just found a baby there. Baby stick insect on the container and I'll put the adults in this container. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up that baby and I'll show you how. You can use your fingers so carefully hold them. Not obviously don't squeeze them but just hold them very very gently. Open the lid and put them in the tank. And there he is down there, back in the tank. And a uh, very nice hobby indeed. Okay. Move back. 
close this. If there are any questions, please contact me. My name is Ross Cooper. You can contact me at my email at rgcooperuk at gmail.com. I also sell them. I sell 10 stick and sick eggs for one pound and each stick and sick for one pound 50. Thank you. Bye.